How's it going, everyone? Uh, so my family and I just moved houses, so we're out of that old little unit uh, that had no garden, and now we're here in a space that has a really good backyard. It actually has a mini orchard, which I'm going to be showing you guys later on in this video, uh, and I'm so excited to uh, actually be able to have more space to garden. Um, so in this video, I just want to give you guys first up a bit of a update on how the container gardens are going, clean all the, the root pouch garden and as well as other things that we've got such as the figs and the avocados. And then at the end, I'll give you a bit of a quick look at this back garden and with all the fruit trees um, that's in the mini orchard. Okay, so we're here on the decking. Uh, so we just have a f only a few pots up here at the moment, but this is uh, the avocado. Uh, one of the avocados is the bacon variety. Um, so we're just like gonna be growing, keep growing that in pot, and that's, that's done really, really well. All of this is from um, this season so far. And then we've got uh, one of the figs, which this one has finished fruiting. Uh, this is the Sharwil um, avocado variety. So like uh, when I first got this, there was pretty much no leaves on it. Because um, it lost all its leaves during uh, the posting, uh, during shipping. Um, so all of this has just been from this this uh, year so far, which has been absolutely awesome. That's growing really, really well. Um, then we have another fig here. This still has a couple of little fruits on it, um, but then that'll be finished. And then lastly, up here on the decking, we have um, the coffee. Um, and so really like having uh, these more tropical plants, particularly the coffee and the avocados back there. Um, up here, that way I can, I can control the watering um, and sort of imitate a dry season um, in the tropics which these are native to. Just coming off the decking, uh, this is one of the other figs that I haven't potted into a larger container yet, but this still has uh, three, four um, figs left on it, um, which is starting to get a little soft uh, and ripen up, which is awesome. That's just the other one, which you can tell this one's starting to go into dormancy a bit. I uh, still have to repot that one. Um, down here, my sister has started to um, transplant a few of those little purple bits. They're actually the um, red Russian kales, which she grew from seed and has just started to transplant. That's some um, coriander and just some, that, I think, just grass weeds that have come up. Um, here we have a strawberry in the root pouch, um, just getting the runners in pots. This one I've already cut off and I had to cut off a heap of the roots uh, just because they were starting to absolutely go wild and it's actually produced fruit as well. And uh, we only planted these I think about four weeks ago. Uh, so I've done very, very well. Here's one of the blueberries in the root pouch and on the other side, so that was the blueberry burst and then this one is the um, blueberry sunshine. So this is all come off fruiting, gave it all a prune. Um, and now it's just like really putting on some nice growth before it goes into um, dormancy. Up here on the steps, uh, there's a little rhubarb there. And then up here on the steps, we have yucca, which is only an ornamental. But then we have a little olive tree. Um, we've got a capskin, which I'm just waiting for these two to uh, ripen up and get a bit bigger because it is getting absolutely demolished by aphids at the moment, um, which I'll try and focus in on some. Uh, but yeah, it's getting really, really hit by aphids which is uh, no good at all but it does have a nice few fruits so you can see just around there um, there's ants and aphids all over it so um, soon I'll cut cut them cut them out uh, tip out the potting mix or compost that and then wash the root pouch ready for next season and then just there underneath the water tank we have another uh, little rhubarb growing now swinging around to this little area I love this actually area it's a almost like an old school uh, fire barbecue, so an actual flame grill barbecue, which is awesome. So excited to fix that up and use. So here we're having a little uh, herb garden. So we've got some chalk mint here. Um, sorry about the sort of light difference, but this has grown all in two weeks. We planted this about two weeks ago and this has taken off. So we've got chalk mint, um, some rosemary, and then also a perennial basil there. And so I'm thinking in this little spot here, vacant spot, I'll probably put um, a parsley or something like that. Then we have a couple of little pomegranate trees that were given to us uh, by some of our old neighbors. Um, and then around here we have some more perennial basil and then the other strawberries. Um, so those two, this one and that one has grown from the runners. And this is the original mother plant and it's already got a nice little strawberry on it as well, which is awesome. Um, so idea is we want to get heaps more strawberries for coming into this spring as we're coming into winter at the moment. Um, so yeah, then the next spring we'll have heaps. Then at Bunnings the other day, uh, these terracotta pots were a dollar each, so we got four of them and we'll put some herbs in there. Down the bottom here, and it's just reshooting, um, is some lemon thyme. 
So I um, really got to cut this, cut this back and allow, um, so it will compost the rest and allow the new shoots to spring up. And then over here, my pride and joy at the moment is my uh, banana. So this is one of the cool climate bananas. This is the dwarf Cavendish, so it'll grow to about two meters. Um, but in the in in the root pouch, it is absolutely growing like a true champion. Um, it has just oh, it's probably like quadrupled in size since I first got it, which is absolutely awesome. Um, just got a little spare root pouch there ready for the wash um, for some winter veggies and then here we have um, the miniature pomegranate um, and this is growing particularly really really well over uh, this summer this spring and summer it's just put on so much nice growth it's really pretty plant as well as producing fruit um, but yeah and then down here we have some of uh, some blueberry burst cuttings which I'm hoping will take and last of the pots, uh, before we move on to the miniature orchard, uh, this is the tomato. One of the tomatoes, um, the red fig, which has got a few more little fruit on it, and I just mainly want to save it for saving seeds. Um, we didn't really end up collecting many seeds yet, so I need to, need to collect seeds from that. Um, and then again, they'll just be washed. That one's ready to be washed um, and planted out with some veggie stuff. And then here we have um, the citrus. Um, so this is, yeah, the navelina. Um, which is a type of orange um, and so this is growing in the root pouch um, potting mix has really gone down heaps so I need to top it up um, and then at the back we have a little perennial basil but otherwise I'll probably be planting um, some kale or silver beet or something like that uh, probably a leafy green in here um, over the winter time and so here is the miniature orchard so first of all um, this is a plum it actually looks like the same variety that we had back in Victoria um, at our property. So I've already given this a prune. Um, haven't cleaned up the branches yet. But um, so yeah, that's that's one of the plums. And we have a magnificent looking fig, um, which is really, really good. I've been using it as a climbing tree as well. Never too old to climb a tree. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be pretty much just cutting it off um, level with that sort of electrical piping. Um, just pretty much cutting it straight across. Um, just to reduce it, it is very, very tall and it's got a lot of fruit, but they're not really ripening. And I think it's just because um, it's sort of just got too much biomass on the top um, and the plant isn't producing enough energy to put that into mature fruit. Um, and then over here we have another plum. Um, and this again is like really, really um, sort of out of hand. So you can sort of see where it was last pruned all off around that height. Um, so I'm going to go a little bit higher, cut it back and then uh, the following winter really um, then yeah help help manage it um, so yeah pretty much just cut it off at top and then thin out all this scrappy stuff in the middle um, and hopefully um, it'll give us a bit of fruit next year um, but no promises and then this looks to be um, a, I think it's a peach I believe that's my guess it's either a peach or another um, sort of different type of plum plum tree um, but yeah, this is again same thing as the other. Just going to be cutting it right back. Um, oh no, this is the peach. <laughs> so the other one was a plum. This is the peach, um, peach tree. So um, I've already given this a bit of a prune, a bit of a thin back. I'm just going to leave it as is. Again, I haven't cleaned up my um, my mess that I've left there. But um, this got was really really hit uh, as I was pruning. My hands were nearly black from um, black peach aphids. So. Um, particularly in spring I'm gonna have to just watch that and if need be make up a bit of a spray probably a chilling garlic spray something like that just to try and knock them off um, and then lastly we have a little mandarin tree which is awesome I'm just gonna be sort of cutting right off the top and then thinning it a little bit in the middle to try and get some more airflow get a bit of a V shape um, and then also out the front I'll give you a bit of a peak look that, that we have a lemon tree, so another citrus tree. Um, pretty much going to leave this as it is. Might give it a little bit of a prune, um, but it's already still still got heaps of flowers on it and stuff, even though we're uh, only about two weeks away from winter. Um, but yeah, so I'll just like sort of keep, keep maintaining that a bit. And then also this one right here um, is a walnut tree. So this actually looks like it's in a bit of a bad shape. Um, leaves half brown. I know we're coming into winter, so it's probably that. Um, but just want to yeah make sure that sort of keep keep a nice shape keep it well pruned and uh, hopefully we'll get some good walnuts from that 
So there's a quick look at our new place, at our new garden. So I'm super, super excited uh, to get stuck mainly into those fruit trees, but then also getting up our sort of container garden and also uh, just other veggies and fruits that we're going to be growing hopefully uh, this winter and coming into the spring, really building up a good supply of homegrown fresh produce. Um, so really hope you guys like that. No, it was a little while since my last video, um, but I'll just be sort of every now and again putting up these uh, sort of videos. Um, so if you do want to see more in the future, when I do put another one up, then make sure you subscribe uh, and then click the bell so you'll get notified when I do put a new video up here on YouTube. Um, and then also make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy that and leave a comment or suggestion or question uh, in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Love hearing from you guys. Hope you're all doing well and you're having a cracker of a week and I will catch you all next time.